Welcome. Uh, it's Snug Radio's Retro Lounge, and it's episode 23, and it's Pac-Man. Oh, there's so much Pac-Man tonight. Oh, so many Pac-Man games. Um, so, in episode fa- 5 or 6, we did maze games that weren't Pac-Man. Uh, but in that episode, we did play a little bit of the OG Pac-Man. Um, so, we're not going to spend an awful lot of time on the original Pac-Man tonight. We're going to see it in a few of its guises on home consoles, but um, we're going to look at all the different things that aren't Pac-Man, that had Pac-Man in it. So, And we're going to meet some of his family like his missus and uh, and his son and who knows what else we're going to we're going to um, get on with so uh, that little square there is waiting for me so let's get across there and get cracking shall we we've got a lot to do okay uh yes and before before we get uh, started um it was remiss of me I don't think I've actually thanked sub uh, follower J Hart Glass or J H Hart Glass, who followed uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, new subscriber Josh, who subscribed over the weekend with Prime, didn't cost him anything, benefits me a tiny bit. So um, thank you, Josh. Much appreciated. Uh, right. So, <coughs> excuse me. We are going to start, oh, I don't really know how to do this one, because there's, there's games all over the place, and I've currently got them sorted by name, because I'd like to clump them together, but let's start with the 2600, the Atari VCS, and um, what we'll do, we'll look at possibly the worst ever version of uh, of Pac-Man um, on the Atari VCS, and then we'll look at um, Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man Junior, all on the VCS. That'll kick us off, and then things will graphically only get better. Ah. Uh. Right, okay. So. Um, now it's a bit flashy on my screen, and I, I suspect it's going to be a bit flashy on your screen too. So, that's not the image I'm looking for. Holy moly, I nearly deleted everything then. <laughs> right. Open MU. Here we go. Massive. Look at that. It's huge. I can't do fit screen because it'll do the whole whole debris. There we go. So, oh, oh. as we all know, I was an Atari kid. Uh, this, other than the arcade game, this was probably my Pac-Man that I played first at home. Because I have a version on the Clecovision, but I don't remember ever having that as a kid. Uh, we might have a quick look at it. It looks very similar to the arcade game, which surprised me. Um, so, then. We're not going to play a lot of these, because it's Pac-Man, innit? Everyone knows Pac-Man. Maze games. We're, we're, lo- we're going to be looking at things that aren't maze games. Uh, so, um, yeah. Let's have a look at... Um, The Atari. Atari. Why does it always default to keyboard? Why? I ask you. Oh, here we go again. Mamma mia. Right. Let's do a reset. Okay. 
Okay, select works. Oh, we're doing this again, are we? Oh. Oh, this is a noise that I remember well. Jeez. Bank, 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 bank. Um, so this was uh, one of these games that. Many people bought the Atari to play, basically, um, and uh, we were sold. A, well, well, look, it's Pac-Man in it. it. It plays like Pac-Man, but if you were expecting the arcade version, you were going to be sorely disappointed. I'm having trouble me down again. I have not moaned about my pad for a long time, have I? what we might do is we'll um, clear well we'll either die or we'll clear one, one screen one or the other Dagnabbit. Can't get me ups and downs working. Oh! Toss pot. It is my tools. I am blaming my tools. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, so. I'm a man of my word. We're only going to play one screen of this. You can see. You can see. It's It's not brilliant. Oh, let's have a look. I only have the handheld version and the board game. Wow, the board game of Pac-Man. I still haven't played that yet, Nutty Cluster. One day, one day. Uh, right, so after... Um, after... So, Pac-Man was released. Everybody loved it. Um, but there were some people who wanted to make it a bit more difficult. So they created like a, not a pirate, but like an addition. So they created a little daughter board, which you could plug into the original Pac-Man. And so Miss Pac-Man was born uh, until Atari tried to sue their asses off. Um, so there are a couple of arcade games that have, um, that were, independently modified um, and that's that's why we have them today so here we go we'll have a quick look at the um, <laughs> Atari VCS at Ms Pac-Man and um, you know you might see you might see some things that are slightly the same ish but it's a bit samey. Uh, but she moves a bit faster. It's my understanding. Everything's a little bit quicker. So. It's going to do this thing again, is it? God, it's massive on the screen. It's the screen that I'm looking at. It's huge. Oh.
So you can see it's um, basically Pac-Man with his hair up, um, but a little faster moving. There you go! I'm honest, I'm not playing this. It's one of those things that you... you know, oh, 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 can't stop, can't stop! Oh, oh, oh. Gonna die now. There we go. Um, and so... One thing leads to another. And you have uh, Junior Pac-Man. Yep. Pac Sex. I don't know. Oh, has it? Has it? No, it hasn't. I thought I thought it had hijacked that screen for you. I thought, wow, look at that. How how great. Ah, oh, now you see. This looks like one of those stupid scrolly ones. We've got a couple of them tonight. That it's like, no, I prefer to see the whole maze. Please. Um, could just be me. Well, yes, nutty plus to some something went down somewhere. Uh, Junior Pac Man with his propeller beanie. So um let's have a go. Whoa! See, it's like, where does the maze end? Come on! Wow, those monsters are monstrously fast. this maze. No, I'm dead. Wow. Wow. Okay, but it, again, it's Pac-Man, just in a beanie this time, and moving hella fast. That way his propeller beanie is a helicopter, perhaps. Uh, wow. Okay, so, I think... I think we've done all the Atari VCS. Uh, so. <laughs> then. <laughs> okay. Let's sort them by system and see what else we've got that's that's mazy. See, I do have... I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at Miss um, Pac-Man on the Game Boy. Because this is the special colour edition. Oh, I remember now. Okay. So, when I was talking about scrolling mazes, like this, this bloody Pac-Man Jr. This is... The, um... The Miss Pac-Man one. So... Bear in mind it's Game Boy, so it's got a square screen. And it looks vaguely arcadey. I uh, seems seems near to arcade, but it's like, well, we've got to make it arcade, but we need to put it on a square screen, so it'll have to scroll. Um, 
so that's what we're doing. We're scrolling. Um, oh, why what? I can't. Well, my, my, my hot con has disappeared. Oh. Okay. So it says Game Boy. I'm assuming it's the Game Boy Color. Or even the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> See, I don't like that, where you go out one side and you can't see where you're coming from. and rights and ups and downs so I know I'm getting through these really quickly but they are all similar they're all quite samey it's just the looks so it's to give you an idea of the looks and we're going to spend a little longer with the um, non maze games uh, we do have another maze Pac-Man but it's non, non maze so we'll come back to that later um, it's kind of non. I don't know. Right. Okay. I've I've really messed it up, haven't I? Really messed it up. Um. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's stay. Let's stay with the Game Boy. And we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do. Oh, actually, oh. so there is there is a Pac-Man Special Colour Edition. And as we've just seen Ms. Pac-Man Special Colour Edition, I think you can imagine what it is. So we're not doing that one. I'm going to delete it from the playlist. But we are going to have a look at Packing Time on the Game Boy. Um, I feel this might be... Uh, it might be a normal Game Boy. So the, the greeny screen. Uh, uh, but, you know, while, we, while we've got square square capture window, we might as well carry on. Back in time. Alright, let's see. What is this all about? It's obviously Pac-Man, super, super popular. So they wanted to put him in everything. Ugh. Hero Pac-Man has not always been the cool video game dude we know and love. That's not good, is it? The ghost witch has vowed to disrupt his tranquil life. It's a whole, a whole lot of story. I bet it's a probably a runny sideways jump and hit things type game. Ghost witch is sent back to 1975. Right. Don't think we need all that story, do you? So look, okay, we don't have any options, so this is where we're starting. OK, 
Okay, we've got a jump. And a shoot. Whoa! I feel like I should be going up there with these things, but I can't, can't get that high. Unless it's like a... That's bad for you. Curly, curly things are. I've run through them, um, and it makes a oh, you're dead sort of noise. It is a bit Kirby y, isn't it? I think Kirby's still on the wheel, though. We've still got Kirby to do. how to get him down there though. I feel like he should be able to... Is it one of those that perhaps shouldn't have fallen down? Come on, there must be a way! do right we had the hammer let's see what what the bubbly things do ah yeah No, we don't read instructions, Monty Cluster. You would never have read them as a child. We're not reading them here. Oh. 
could have given me some warning. How do I even get over them? Do I just do a big jump? Big jump? Nope, not a big jump. No way I'm going to make that. Oh, now I've got a springy though. Hard drive is just disconnected. That's not good. Still have internet though, that's okay. Oh! Oh! See it now! Is it coming back? Oh no! How do I jump that high? I can't jump that! Oh! I don't see why the hammer would make it any better. No, he didn't. <sighs> okay. I'll tell you what. Let's let's go with. We'll, we'll, we'll take the spring. No idea if that help. Right. That's his. That's his highest jump. Just by keeping a finger on the jump button. Highest jump. Highest jump. Grab. Pack in time. Right, one more go. time on the Game Boy and this you see earlier I was making sure they all worked and I noticed there was two games called the same th called two different things but it was the same game so what we're gonna do is we're gonna not play pack panic for a minute <coughs> excuse me and We're going to, um, okay, we're going to move to the Mega Drive 
And I think Pack Panic is the same as Pack Attack. Uh, so we're going to have a quick blast on uh, Pack Attack. Let's see, see exactly what that is. Pack Attack. Okay. Uh, so nearly started playing without giving you a window to see what the bloody hell suicide you're right suicide is not the answer um unless you're playing pack in time yeah it's never the answer until you play pack in time oh bless she's got such a delay that she uh doesn't know i'm already on it The fact it's got a puzzle mode. So we want that. All right. Um, we're going to play normal mode because why not? Oh, well, this looks a bit Tetrisy. Did somebody go? Oh, can we put Pac-Man into Tetris? Hmm. How does that work? Oh, okay. We're trying to. Oh, the dot dis. Ah, I see. We've got a Pac Man, have we? Alright. Versus mode looks like nervous mode. Yeah, I... Let's drop a Pac-Man in there, see what happens. Get in there. work slightly differently from um, Tetris though, don't they, because they just drop down. like one of those where I won't be doing a lot of chatting because I'm concentrating on the boxes that are falling down.
transformed. Oh, they feel a bit faster now. Better time. Let's go pear shape now. Tetris. It, it really does look like nervous mode. You're right. It comes down a bit slower and goes, oh. Okay. So that was Pack Attack. But I'm pretty certain on the Game Boy it's called Pack panic but we'll find out because a couple of these are collections so we've got a pac-man collection and we've got a namco museum collection because we're going to have a look at pac-man arrangement which um i only found about recently found out about recently so if that was pack attack let's have a look at pac-man 2 Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. I mean, you'd think, you'd think it would be similar to Pac-Man 1, um, but different. Um, so, let's see what the sequel to arguably one of the largest um, best-selling video games on the planet. Um, let's see what the sequel looked like. Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures in a World. With Pac-Man 1. I did Pac-Man 2. This feels not very similar so far. Oh, it's super cool in this game. Yeah, it's Batman. Junior Batman. Baby Batman. I told you would end up meeting the whole family.
I mean, what, what are we being introduced to? What? They're expanding the law? See what happens. Game start. Oh, this is one of those things that I'm going to wish I'd read if I skipped through it. Hi, I'm Pac Man. Today I'll introduce you to my world. Shooter, then is it like a point and feels point and click here to me? Point and click eventually. idiot looking round face reminded me of Donald Trump a little bit and Patman doesn't even have hair all right so it keeps telling me it keeps telling me where to aim stuff for yeah yeah you don't need to keep telling me how to use that shoot everything did it do anything no I shoot the dog what's he what am I, am I supposed to be doing something If it's if it ooh, if it tells you these instructions over and over again, then uh, Houston, <laughs> you told me to do it, Egypt. You told me to break one of your windows, I know. Why do this to me all the time? Oh, Pac-Man 2, the new adventures, you need to relax, you know. I understand that I don't read the instructions, but there's no need for this. Go on, you had your eye on it, you shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't lose it now. What I'm supposed to okay. I, 
don't even know where it is. Oh. Well, you asked for it. That's the only bit I've liked so far. Little ghost going round his head. Ah, oh, look, he's just done it. Don't tell me patience. be a way to get past these. No, no, mate. I'm getting annoyed. You think I'm getting annoyed? That's what it is. Well, it's like a like a toxic relationship, this. Keep putting it in your mouth, you knobhead. I'm just... I'm doing that. Do I shoot it into his face? Alright, alright. I'm shooting him, you bloody eat him! Oh, he's a whiny bitch. I'm doing that. I know what she wants. Oh, how disappointing. Oh, Pac Man, how far you've fallen.
Come on, you wanted me to drop that A stack on him. Come on, I'm supposed to be shooting these things, surely. I'll milk's the other direction anyway. He hopped up on apples now. Ah, apples. Right. So we don't drop the haystack on the farmer. Drop the haystack on the farm. I'm not going to hit a milk bottle, surely. Go back the other way. Stand milk the cow. Follow him apples, he's a bit absent minded. rather than uh... and there we go Pac-Man 2 
the new adventures on the Mega Drive. Oh. Holy fucking shirt balls. Uh, right. Oh, jeez. Right, okay, let's have a look at... I'm going to just start the, um, I've got Pac-Mania on the Master System that we'll, we'll just take a quick look at and see if it's a badly named one of the others. How is it size-wise? Effing huge. Okay, Pac Mania. It's about oh, oh, my eyes. They're quite quick. That didn't even touch me that time. So we have another go. Phil is probably a prettier version of this on um, one of the collections, but. Uh, Get used to the jumping, I'd quite like it. Set all the dots again. I feel like I've been up here before. time jump all right well that was was that was that lego pac-man it was actually it was called uh, pac-mania pac-mania okay ah right so let's have a bit of um 
let's have a bit of a flirt with the DS, shall we? So we'll uh, whoop to this one. And um, we'll, we'll uh, have a look at a couple of DS Pac-Men's. And we're going to start with pack and roll not stop drop and roll come on where are you pack and roll so let's see oh wow that's why why so big that's what she said uh, Okay. Do you know, I do wonder if I need to get a, a Nintendo DS overlay, which is the right dimensions for the screen for these, if we're doing a lot of Nintendo DS. I might have to speak to my artist. Pack okay. and roll! Whoa there. Pack and roll. in start. Thank you, game. Right. Oh, it's a stylus-based one. Slide in the stylus across the pack map and the launch screen will make you roll. Press the next button and then try and copy the example displayed in the lower screen. strokes that's what we need long strokes uh. can't really do long strokes because um was pack and roll stylus based not very playable let's try pack world sorry pack man world 3 which is also on the ds so we'll stay on this screen um i will see if that's any easier any better to play It's black and white at the moment, so I dread to think what's going to happen. 
presses the start E. No, can't skip it. Still trying, even though I know I can't. Oh, oh don't say it's in 3D. That's, that's Lumi. Okay, right, we've got to jump. What are we touching the touch screen for? Okay, we've got a punch in the face, that's always good. Good old Pac Man. Um, can't, oh, there we go. Oh, they come back. I see. Let's run away then. Okay, jump, jump. Uh, I don't. I, I. I know I'm showing the edge, but I don't like games where you have to keep moving the camera around. doing that it's doing it itself that don't like where the camera is right so, I don't think I can get off there hold there I can only go off that bit though oh, get lost. go away Go back across the coast. Oh, green goo bad. Eventually, you can. Uh... What's down here? Right. Doesn't look to be any good way across. Guess I'm dead. That... 
didn't even go wah 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 Uh, right, so that is our vertical games played. Those two DS games. So let's quiz back to uh, to this one, to our seventies and uh, our eighties bedroom set. And right, we've done them. We've done them. We've done that one. So I think we're getting to a point where we might be having a look at some collections. I'll tell you what, let's play let's play this one first. On the Atari Lynx. Wow, that's massive. Let's shrink it down a little bit, because it's gonna look ugly. Um yes. Uh, also a game I do remember playing in the arcades. Uh it's Pac Land. Like Roland, but different. That's only going to be Grange Hill fans get that. And there'll be some of you wondering, what's Grange Hill? I'm not telling you. Okay. So, this version is on the Atari Lynx. Gonna look like, but we'll find out. Right, something about a fairy. You got a fairy in your hat. Here you go from one side to the other. You jump over things. This feels slow. Do you know what? We might be cracking open Retro Arch and seeing the arcade versions of this. Ghosts in an aeroplane dropping little ghosts. Dropping their babies? Obviously worked out how to make it run.
think we should have another go at that and we'll try the um we'll try the first round again by actually running. See if we can get a better score. Or die sooner. One of those things. Jump right into it then. Say eat a power pill, no ghosts. Except for that time. Determined to uh, make a fool out of them. This time and all. Oh well. Good job it's game over, innit? Uh, so that was uh, Packland. This version was on the Atari Lynx. Uh, okay, so. I think it's probably time to have a look at one of the collections and see if there's something in it that we've not played. Uh, one of the best consoles for emulation to emulate is um, the Game Boy Advance. I love it. All the games look really cool. We generally enjoy the games that are on it. Um, so, no, if I keep doing that, keep clicking on the wrong thing. So this is the Pac-Man collection. I mean, I feel we've probably played all the games that are on it. But, um, you know, it's worth a quick look and see. Uh, right, so. Pac-Mania. Yes, we played Pac-Mania. That was the Master System. Pac-Man Arrangement. Well, I've got a PSP. Um... Oh, I don't know. Is this the same one? I've got it on the PSP, which is the one that... That's the reason I, I got the PSP one. So let's just see if there's anything else. Normal, Common Garden, Pac-Man. And Pac-Attack. And I'm pretty certain we played Pac-Attack on the Mega Drive. So, we have played all these. Um, let's, let's see what... The horizontal screened um, Game Boy Advance for four of Pac-Man. Oh, okay. See, I prefer I prefer the little screen in the middle rather than I can't do left and right for some reason. Uh, rather than um, scrolling the screen around. Come on. Um, I wonder if this is the uh, if this is the arcade ROM. Um, we'll soon find out. 
because uh, in the arcade one you can sit yeah it's not the arcade one you can sit there indefinitely uh, on the arcade version they obviously fixed it for this uh oh Anyway, so um, so that's the Pac-Man collection on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, let's have a look at the Namco Museum Battle Collection on the PSP. This this isn't just Pac-Man. This has got uh, many, many, many options. Um, God, I wonder if we've lost Nutty Cluster. I think she's still watching. Just not commenting anymore. Uh, okay, so. So why are you not there? There you are. Super wide screen, this one. There we go. So, this was a PSP. This has got a number of games on it. Um, but it's got arrangements, the, arra the arrangement ones. So we're gonna we're gonna play one of these because um, it's nice looking. Chomping ghosts. I need to be a bit more careful. Look, I can't. Oh. So, you know, you get the idea. It's very similar to Pac-Man. It's just called Pac-Man Arrangement. And yeah, I, I'm a bit like, while we've got the arrangement disc running, uh, we might just have a look at some of the other arrangements. Ass. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's a bit fast, is this fella? I didn't mean to go upwards, I meant to go straight on! Mm, can't see the chat. What's there? Well, this makes my eyes go a bit funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, it's a nice mechanic. I quite like the... Uh, uh oh, whoa. Quite like the shooting up the screen type things. Ah, oh, we won't continue on that. If it's making your eyes go funny, nutty cluster, we won't we won't carry on. Oh, do I want to save the data? No, I'm alright, thanks. Thanks anyway though. Oh. So Let's see what else. I mean, what have we got? We've got the original Pac-Man, and we've got Miss Pac-Man. We've got Galaxian, which we've seen before. King and Bloom, which I've never heard of. And Rally X, which I think I used to play in the, uh, in the arcades. Sconian, I don't think I remember. Oh, Dig Dug. Dig Dug 2. I used to play Dig Dug a lot. I like Dig Dug. Wow, well, there's, there's quite a few. Devious, Mappy. What's that one? Tower of Druaga. Don't recognise that one. Dragon Buster. Oh, do you know what? I think when we have a, a random assortment of gamey type things, uh, we might put one of these on and play them. Then you've got the arrangements, which, as you can see, are... Um, Fancy upgrades. That's enough. Thank you. Um, yeah, don't let me forget the uh, the Namco Museum Battle Collection. It looks like it's got a whole host of stuff on there for uh, for us. Maybe we'll maybe we do. Maybe we we maybe we give it its own episode, or perhaps Namco in general. Maybe we'll talk about. Video game companies, we're not done that yet. Specific companies like Konami. And we'll only play Konami games. Oh, that means I'm going to have to do homework and shit. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see about updating the wheel. It's getting The wheel's getting to a point where we might start putting some of the things we've done in the past back on. Let's see if we can get to episode 30 or so before we start putting things back on. Um. Okay. Do you know what? I think that's um, that's everything that I've got in this playlist. But what I would like to do, if you will, um, word I can't think of at the moment. Um, but bear with me; will be will be a good one. Um, 
I'm going to crack open Retro Arch. I'm going to see what Pac-Man y stuff we've got on Retro Arch. Um, so let me just do. Nope, that one. Oh, the buttons change on Retro Arch. Indulge me. Yes, not, not indulge, but indulge. Thank you. That was near enough to make me think of it. Um, so. Let's do a quick search for pack. See what happens. Uh, also, uh, the problem with searching for pack is that uh, pack is also in the word space. So, um, oh, I tell you what, we haven't played. Let's see if this works. Oh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Right, right, we're going back, back to the vertical screen. Ooh, here we are, vertical screen. And do you know what we're going to do? We're going to... Uh, we're going to have a look at an arcade ROMs. Now we're going to the arcade. Grab your 10 pences or your 25 cents, depending on where you live. And let's have a look. Will that do it? That will do it. Uh, it needs to go underneath there, doesn't it? Boom, there you go. So. Bloody massive screen again. We're going to have a quick look at Super Pac-Man. Yeah? Super Pac Man. I have to try and remember how to put the money in. That'll do. Oh, okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm sure by now it will be very clear that I have no actual effing idea what I'm doing. Um, and my controls aren't great. But it's me fat thumbs on this D pad. That's what it is. Honest. So we. Um, can I eat, the, eat them? Oh no, I just go through them. I see. Don't know what that noise is. Okay. Well, I'll be honest with you. I think I preferred... Um, Eating dots rather than apples. Um, do you know what I didn't check? I didn't check to see if you were getting any audio. Let's just hope you were. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, so you don't have the um, you don't have the joy of eating the ghosts, unfortunately. Um, you just eat apples.
I mean, it would be nice to perhaps just um, get everything eaten before I die again. But that's not going to happen. Okay, well. Oh, I've not set up Retro Arch properly. Friggin' pig dog. Because it's on my new machine, innit? Innit? See previous show for details. Uh, right, okay. Um, I want closed content. Where's closed content? Is it there? Oh no, that's close everything. I see. Okay, we'll do it like that. I'll I'll set it up at another date. Okay. Say everything, everything with space. Say everything with space. Hyper pack, man. Don't think that's legit, do you? No. Right, we've seen pack attack. We've seen Miss Pac Man. I mean, these are the same ROMs, but you don't see like arcade ROMs and stuff in the other one. What's Pack and Pal? I want Pack Gal. Let's see if Pack and Pal bar oh, bollocks. Hate that. The um the retro arch button scheme is slightly different. So back in other games is enter in this. What we're we looking, we're looking at pack and pal, weren't we? Pack and pal. Let's see if it works. Alright, promising, promising. Thinking about it. There we go. So. So no dots again. Disappointing. So. What am I supposed to be doing? Okay. Get the key. Die horribly. Okay. There's a Galaxian ship in there. What's what's that all about? Alright, so that green thing's got Wow, what am I supposed to be doing? These cards appear to be the only things I can run over. And get the fruit. Oh, where have I gone? Oh! Oh. Oh. One more go. See if I can work out what the actual F I'm doing. Right. See, I don't have any power pills. Ooh. So I turn up right. All right. Thank you, Nutty Cluster. So I turn over the cards and my mate collects shit. Is that right? Or can I collect it? Oh, I've just ate my mate. Or oh, my pal. Whoa.
Don't know if I'm supposed to eat my friend. Bonus round, I guess. Oh. Bonus round till you hit a ghost. I mean, it's kind of cool the little things you collect are all old arcade gamey type things, but. Well, look. There we go. Um, a little bit of Retro Arch. Some, some surprise games on there that we uh, we weren't ready for. Um, but, do you know what? I think I've played everything on my list. And, um, boom, let's go back to this one just one more minute. So, that was, that was a brief, a shallow paddle. Yes, a brief uh, look at a lot of the games that Pac-Man appeared in. Most of them, let's say. Um... Weirdly, some of them on different systems are called different things, but they're exactly the same game. So, I don't know. It's uh, it's a weird one. But I think we've hit most of them in this show. Uh, so, we will um, move to... Uh, if you remember last week, the wheel. The wheel was playing up. Um, but I think I've got it this week. Oh, yes, I think I've got it. Um, so we're going to give it a spin and we're going to see what we're doing next week. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. Puzzles. Tetris. Columns. I mean, we've played a Pac-Man version that would have been good for next week. Um, things, things of that ilk. It's going to be, yes, it's going to be Tetrisy and other things. I think we might even put a shout out and see if anybody's got any suggestions because... Um, I don't know what else. Like Choo Choo Rocket, that sort of games. We'll probably play a little bit more Zoop, like we did um, the other week. That's that's a puzzly type game. So if you've got any suggestions uh, of of any any puzzle games, then you can email us retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk or what about messages on Facebook? You could say, oh yeah, my favourite puzzler's on, on I don't know, the Mega Drive and it's this. Play this. Um, we have played, I mean, I can see the chat room suggesting clacks. We have played clacks at one of our earlier shows. Perhaps the earliest show we played clacks. So, but you're on the right lines. That sort of game, yes. Uh, anything that's a bit puzzly, but isn't like an adventure game puzzle. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yes, email us. You can Facebook us. You can Twitch us. You can drop, why not tweet? Not Twitch. Tweet. Tweet us with your favourite puzzle game. Uh, we're Snug Radio. Facebook. Twitter. Snug Radio. Um, if you're watching this live 
on uh, on Twitch at seven o'clock on a Monday, then you could, if you wanted, uh, go to our YouTube channel, Snug Radio, and there's a, a 22 episode playlist that you could work your way through of all the things that we've done uh, before. Before. Uh, so, YouTube, Snug Radio. Go there, watch watch lots lots and lots of episodes. They're all there. Um, we're also on TikTok as Snug Radio, you'd be surprised to hear. Um, run by um, moderator extraordinaire, Nutty Cluster. Uh, so follow us there and like and do whatever, you know, do all those things. Then do them everywhere. Do them on YouTube, on Facebook. Like, share with your friends. That's the biggest one. Share with your friends. You've got a retro geek in your life. Uh, share. Share this with them. Please. That would be nice. It costs you an out. But uh, you can you can share it. Um, I think that's everything. There is a website. The website is mostly dedicated to our 18-year-old podcast that I do with my friend and co-host, Lee. Uh, that's at snugradio.co.uk So, with all those things mentioned, I think that's everything. Unless Nutty Cluster goes, you know not you've forgotten this. Uh, I think that's So, have a great week. Play something retro. I've been... This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Thank you.